the first time like I realized that I can read or that I did I learned differently than other kids around me was probably in preschool. Like, not being able to like understand things and just like learning what words meant and how to spell them. So then you're just like left wondering why can't I? Like what what makes me why am I different? Why can't I do things that most kids could? This is a really important documentary and I'm so glad I got to watch it for two big reasons. Um, one, I learned about how difficult it is to navigate the school system when you have an exceptionality like dyslexia. It was so eye-opening and really, really heartbreaking too to see how these children were being treated and how little support their families were getting. And secondly, I found it so inspiring. As a parent myself, I know there really isn't anything you wouldn't do for your kids. And to see this group come together and bring about this change and help so many kids was really incredible. My biggest takeaway here was that it's always worth it to speak up and fight for your children. And that's something that's going to stay with me for a really, really long time. So thank you for that very incredible message and the amazing efforts that you've made. Um, this documentary was really great to watch. There's so much to be said about uh, the film Our Dyslexic Children. It's, it's an emotional look at um, dyslexia. And you get to see it from the moment it comes on with this emotional recounting of uh, this girl's experience and um, you used to see her frustration and it's, it's, you see her pain and then you get to see the human aspect of it through the parents describing their frustrations with the school system and everything that they keep hearing um, from their various districts about things that th is, is, is being viewed as their fault, as opposed to being viewed as a disorder that a lot of us just don't understand. I really enjoyed how heartfelt this was, because when you think about dyslexia, you think about it in terms of a very intellectual way, but this gave it a face and it made you pay attention. I loved the theme of there being strength in numbers and how nothing really got done in this um, Upper Arlington district until these families banded together to uh, basically beat the system. And they had to kind of come together and all um, bond under this shared um, disappointment and what the school was providing. And then also, create something that is going to help uh, other parents and other districts for years to come. 
It was inspirational and it was lovely to see the full circle moment for some of the students that once they felt actually heard and seen and got the help that they needed, that you see that they were able to flourish into the wonderful students that they were always meant to be. Heartfelt, it, it touched me in a way, it, it gave me a sense of hope you know, for it, for a time in my life when I will be a parent, it gave me a sense of community. And almost the thought of knowing that when you band together with your peers and you have a like-minded goal, then you're, you can be unstoppable. Our dyslexic children was an amazing look into like dyslexia as it, as it affects children in this country. It's really well done. Like it showed different perspectives, heartfelt interviews of people, of kids and young adults that deal with dyslexia and how that affects them in schooling, how they're seen as stupid and dumb. And it was very emotional for them. And they also got to see what the parents thought of while they had to deal with it. But everything, everything in it was seamless with the editing and the cuts, but also like the footage of there was a heartfelt message in the narration throughout, like how these are kids are human beings too, and they're not stupid or not meant to be just put to, put to the side. So it was a very heartfelt documentary. Our Dyslexic Children was a really, really fantastic documentary. I think it gives a lot of really uh, valuable information about dyslexia and how it can affect children. And I mean, I didn't know how serious and detrimental it could be if teachers are not properly trained in how to teach uh, children who have dyslexia. And something really surprising to me was how teachers aren't even really taught how to teach someone how to read, uh, which is just fascinating to me because it's not an inherent skill. It is something that have to, has to be taught. Um, but the, the lack of training that teachers have um, is so surprising to me and then the children are therefore affected by it um, and I think this was also a really good example of parents really coming together and advocating for their children and bringing things higher and higher up the ladder until change finally happens and even when there was a win you know it was still not perfect and the children still weren't getting the help that they needed so I thought that this was a great film about advocacy and education and showing that teachers do want to help their these children, but they're just not equipped uh, with those skills. So yeah, I mean, as I get older and I'm also um, family planning and stuff, that's those are things that uh, I will have to consider as well. You know, what kind of... Um, accessibility is available in school and, and is my child going to get the best chance at survival um, and being able to thrive in this world because you know without the proper support uh, it can really go down a, a different path so I learned a lot from this thank you and uh, yeah it was a very engaging film I really loved this film. I loved how we heard so much from the kids themselves. I thought that that really put it into perspective in, instead of just hearing from their parents. And I think that you took us on a really, really um, emotional journey. Um, and the beginning of the piece was heavy and emotional. And I appreciated that at the end, you showed us this sort of light at the end of the tunnel where parents were starting to take action and, and to change the minds of the governments and the teachers. And I loved the moment when somebody was talking about teachers' responses to like receiving this new training. And they're like, I'm so grateful I have um, this information. So I, I thought the hopeful note of your film um, really stuck with me. I just finished watching our dyslexic children. What a great job they did on this film, sincerely. It was absolutely amazing. The beginning interview, she was so incredibly candid and genuine. Um, some of the other interviews, it was really heartbreaking listening to these kids blame themselves for something that they can't control. And I feel like great job on the parents for coming together 
to get a resolution from not only their school district, but that trickled into other school districts as well, where they were, the schools were held accountable. So I think that that was fantastic. All of the interviews on this were amazing. I really enjoyed it. It was very educational while it was also very, very emotional and um, just beautifully shot. The pacing of this, everything, they did a great job. Right out of the gate, you do a great job of establishing the emotional pull of your documentary um, by having this girl recount the first time she realized that there was an issue with her learning and, and reading and that she may have dyslexia and the frustration and um, j just feeling like she wasn't being listened to. And you really build upon that throughout our dyslexic children. Um, it's you present the facts in a way that it becomes clear, you know, what dyslexia is, how it's con conveyed and construed in schools, and then the lack of education um, given to teachers about how to teach to children with dyslexia, the, the lack of resources, the frustration, the community that is built due to the frustration, and um, how how this uh, Arlington School District fought to get um, to get resources for their kids. And it acts as a good uh, lesson for others to go out and also create that kind of change. Um, it looked very professional and you, you did all the right things with the documentary, presenting the facts, getting the emotional pull. You see the clear call to action within this piece with this Arlington community coming together and it acts as a catalyst for other communities to go out and do the same um, for their children with dyslexia so it's very it hits all all the main points of a good documentary and looks good the cinematography is great and that's that really is half the battle with these two with a documentary to get it taken seriously which is sad but it's true um so this was very informative um very helpful to those who don't know a lot about dyslexia and i hope more people see it so very well done